So this is a wonderful case of a lady that's had cataract surgery about a year ago and has been since diagnosed with fibrous downgrowth through the main wound which had been enlarged to solve the complications that occurred during cataract surgery which was loss of the bag, manual conversion to SICS through a corneal wound and then eye old suture. After that, eight months after the, the conversion, a thick wad of tissue progressed as a retrocorneal membrane with vascularization. So here we are in the OR a year later. Under air, using the air as a mirror, as described by Meles in his DALK technique, um, to visualize and pick at the membrane, trying to grasp it with the coaxial forceps under a bit of viscoelastic at the tip of the reverse Sinsky. Very similar to what we sometimes do in DMEG using during desmetorexis, but we were also helped by the introp OCT, which is not visible in, in this video, to be sure that we're not actually stripping decimes, and rather we're actually stripping the membrane. So we, we can see that the membrane is quite thick and has neovessels in it, that bleeds when the membrane is peeled. So reviewing the literature before uh, taking the patient up for surgery, we found some reports that did not advocate for the complete removal of the membrane, but rather just peeling it off the cornea and allow it to curl back into the angle. But we felt that the membrane was quite large and removing it made more sense. Time will tell if this was the correct um, solution for this case. Now, we've stripped the membrane off all of the posterior surface of the cornea and up to the main wound. We're enlarging one of the paracentesis to allow for complete removal of the membrane, and we're also opening up the old uh, SICS wound to apply cautery and inject um, an anti-VEGF agent to try to prevent recurrence and regrowth of the neovascularization. So this is what we're doing here. We've used the handheld diatomy and then using INA we're aspirating the blood from the, from the AC. Then we're injecting a vastin into the anterior chamber, and that's the surgery. Thanks for watching.